Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. Now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Time to talk about stocks with upward momentum now with Mike Vodica, our momentum stock strategist at Zacks.com. Of course, we're not going to talk about stocks with downward momentum. Of course not. That's not fun. Right. So we're starting <laughs> off with UAL Corporation, UAUA, the ticker symbol. Right. They're in the airline business. That's exactly what they do. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Most of our listeners have probably heard of United Airlines, but they're uh, you know an international air carrier, one of the bigger names. And um, interestingly, is uh, we just saw shares of um, UA, 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 UA hit a, a multi-year high at $25 because they reported their first quarterly profit in almost three years. So that really? was a pretty big deal for them. Yeah. I can remember when people didn't think they'd ever report a profit again. <laughs> yeah, definitely, it definitely caught a lot of people off guard, but um, they've had a nice upward trajectory for about the last year or so. Um, the most recent update we've had on their business was July 22nd with the nice quarter I just mentioned. Okay. Um, Revenue was up 28% year over year to 5.16 billion. Mm -hmm. um, they had a really solid 11% earnings surprise. Um, over the last year, average earnings surprise of 33%. So they have been beating expectations, kind of what you mentioned before. Yep. Um, Street didn't have, wasn't particularly optimistic in the airline industry. At one point, yeah. Um, interestingly, what I what I discovered is that um, you know there's a lot of talk about baggage fees with airlines right now. Um, right. I, I didn't really put put that much cloud into it, but after taking a close look at United, I realized that's really what's driving all their profit right now. Um, well, not only them, a lot of airlines. A, a lot of them. That's right. Yeah. Um, they had 400 million dollars of baggage fees over the quarter, and their income came in at about 285 million for the quarter. So you can see that's where it all came from: additional baggage fees. So mm -hmm. who would have guessed? Um, the company's balance sheet is a little bit bloated right now. They've got the deal with Continental that's supposed to close by the end of the year. So the balance sheet's a little bit heavy, but that should create some long-term synergies for them. Um, estimates did jump higher off the nice quarter. Uh, the current year is up $1.03 to $4.63. The uh, next year estimate's projecting 22% growth, so nice longer-term growth projection. Okay. And then moving on to the chart yes, here, yes. Um, as I mentioned before, we saw shares hit the multi-year high at $25. So right now, United Airlines has some really nice upward momentum. I'm going to start charging fees for everybody's baggage that I carry. <laughs> uh, that's a different story. <laughs> Chipotle Mexican <laughs> Grill, you've written about recently as well. CMG, the ticker. Yeah, this has also been a, this has been a fairly hot story um, over the last couple of years. Chipotle has been growing by leaps and bounds. It's a really popular brand with young people. They've been expanding. They just opened their um, 1,000 and first store uh, in London, actually. It was their first store in London. 1,000 and one. 1,000 and one. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. But um, Chipotle also reported recently um, second quarter results on July 22nd, and uh, we saw revenue jump 20% year over year to $467 million. Um, some of that growth came from additional stores that were open. They opened 20, 25 new stores during the quarter, but they also saw really good same store sales. Same mm -hmm. store sales were up 8.7%. So that's like a really big number in the retail world. All right. Um, their operating margin is on the upswing too. So that tells us that they're managing costs and expenses. Um, got a great balance sheet, $202 million in cash. They have no debt. So that gives them a lot of financial flexibility moving forward. Mm -hmm. Um, we did see a little bit of movement off estimates, nothing too crazy, but um, the current year estimate was up $0.09 cents to $5.08, and, and then the next year estimate's projecting 19% growth, so that's a nice growth projection too. Um, the valuation picture is running a little bit hot right now. <laughs> uh, it's trading at uh, 31 times the projected current year earnings. That's a premium to its peers. Its peers are at about 19 but that's not totally unusual for a company like this that's in one of these really aggressive growth cycles. Mm -hmm. So um, the multiple kind of makes sense in the context of what the company's doing. Okay, you got a two-year chart. Why a two-year chart? Um, I wanted to kind of take the longer-term view on Chipotle and just to give the, uh, the viewers an example of, you know, the kind of upward thrust, and we've seen some of these companies that have rebounded nicely. Um, so we've seen shares are almost up 200% over the last two years, or actually more like a year and a half. Um, recently, we did hit a, a multi-year high, but right now we've pulled back a little bit. Shares are trading at about 145, but the long-term trend is definitely bullish. Okay. Own either of them? Um, no, I don't. All right. Well, if you want to take a check on more Zach's Rank Buy stock pick ideas, all you need to do is go to our homepage, zax.com, and up in that upper right-hand corner of the homepage is where we put four new stock pick ideas for you daily, each business day, one in each of the investing categories that we write about here on zax.com. With Mike Vodica, I'm Terry Ruffalo.